Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. Mike here. Work continues again on this Bali Theater of Magic Machine, which has got all kinds of weird little glitches with it that we are slowly trudging our way through. If you've been watching this series, um, the, the one the last thing we were fiddling with were the ender stroke switches not registering, which turned out to be a switch matrix problem, which turned out to be a broken wire. The next thing that I've been working on is why one of the optos in the ball trough is not working. And this particular opto is opto number one, also known as switch 31, which is called the trough jam switch. There's five optos in here to keep track of where the balls are in, when they fall in here. And uh, I've got the game in switch test mode and I can take a card something like this and I can reach up underneath here and I can block the opto beams and you can hear, see if I if we point up to the thing there you'll see um, as, I, as I move the opto series, throw th three, two and one's up there too Let's see if I can get to it so I can block one, see there we go, one, two, three, one, two, and then from the other side. So by interrupting the, the light beams, I can trigger optos one, two, three, and four. There's a fifth opto in there, which is up here in the top of the, uh, dogs quiet! There's a fifth opto in here up the top, which is, indicates kind of a two balls stacked on top of each other. And, um, all right, hey, hey, I, this is what I get for giving you a bone. Three dogs, one bone, so now they're going to fight over it. But uh, the little puppy was stealing Q-tips out of my toolbox. I looked around, and all my Q-tips were gone. I use those to kind of clean coils, and the dog is running around with little Q-tips everywhere. So I gave her a bone. Um, anyway, okay. Uh, battery's running out, so let's get to it. So anyway, problem is this fifth opto, switch 31, the ball trough thing is not working. What happens when it's not working is the game thinks that there's a jam in here and it keeps kicking the balls into the uh, shooter lane when, it, when the game boots up, which it shouldn't do, but it does it and it's kind of annoying. It's not a, it doesn't kill the operation of the game, but it's annoying and anyway, it's something that needs to be fixed. So, I've been going through every possible thing trying to figure out what's wrong. Now, whenever you've got an opto out, the first course of business is to check the opto, clean it, check the connections, did all of that. If you're watching some of the previous versions of the um, video, you notice that um, I pulled the boards, I checked both the transmitters and the receivers and everything was working fine. Um, I, I, I uh, checked the wiring, I checked continuity from from the board all the way up to the uh, MPU board up there and everything is fine so I'm not going like what the hell's going on. So there's a board down here, this opto board, this kind of opto aggregator board. See right there underneath? Um, this board, all of the optos and the senders, the transmitters and the receivers feed into this and then the MPU board switch matrix plugs into this. So this board has two LM339s on it and a couple of other things. Um, so I, I kind of figured this might possibly be the culprit. Now. Before I went so far as to start fiddling with this board, I had another Theater of Magic, so I actually pulled the opto boards from a working Theater of Magic and brought them over here, just because opto boards usually are what goes wrong, and I'm, you know, I didn't trust myself, even though I tested everything, double checked it. So I actually put the known good opto boards in here, and it did the same thing. So I have absolutely confirmed the opto boards, transmitters, and the receivers were working and are working and my test videos that show them working were accurate. Um, there was some concern over like maybe whether the transmitters were bright enough or whether the receiver was working and it was off kilter or whatever so I swapped out all the boards and it still does the same thing so no I was right my testing was right they are fine. Um, it doesn't hurt to doubt yourself when you're fiddling with these things because there's so many weird variables that affect everything. Anyway 
So now I'm down to this board here. So the first thing I did was I there's two LM339s. Now this particular board looks like it's been serviced before and they've put sockets in here. So I swapped the LM339s. I took I took I took one and moved it into the other and put the other one back. So if the LM339s were the problem, then maybe the switch error would be in a different place. I put it in, nope, same problem. So now I'm like, okay, what's going on here? What the hell is wrong? There's not a whole lot else that could go wrong. I checked all the connectors. Everything seems to be fine. So I'm going to show you. Now we're going to, we're going to try to trigger this ball trough switch just to make sure that it is actually working from this thing up to the MPU board. So what I've done is I've got two, I've got two jumper cables on here. One is connected to pin 5, which is opto 1, switch uh, row 1. And the other one is pin 12, which is the column. By the way, in the manual, it's wrong. In the manual, they have column and plus 12 volts reversed. So, or they have, col actually they have column listed as pin 4, and pin 4 is a key. So, when you're looking at the schematics, don't always assume everything is accurate. I looked at the schematics, and they are wrong. So, anyway... Um, Anyway, so let's test this. We're going to, I'm going to trigger this switch by shorting the row to the column. Okay, so I will take this and I will go... See, there we go. And I get the Trojam. Yeah. And see, it, it's when it breaks is where the problem is. Okay, so if we... Uh, Show the screen up there. Zoom in a little bit. Okay, and I'll hit another switch real quick. All right. So there's our trawl jam. So what what do we know? We know that from here all the way up to the MPU board is working. We've also tested the opto boards; they are working. So. This little bastard right here has got something wrong with it. This little bastard, this stupid board. Usually it's the LM339s, which are the, the, the chips on there. But, I don't know. I mean, that doesn't seem like that's it. Although, I'm going to look at the data sheet on the LM339, because there's two LM339s on here, and there's only five optos in use. It is possible that one of them is bad, and when I switched them, uh, well, no, I mean, unless both of them were bad in one weird spot, and the other one wasn't being used, I don't know. I'm thinking there's something else wrong on this board. Um, I, you know, it's funny, when I was going to get the um, optos from the known good thing, I said, maybe I should get that opto board. Nah, I won't need it. Yes, I needed it. So, something's, something's going on here. Not exactly sure what. But I'm going to look at the schematics and I'm going to find out what, what all that switch goes through. I'm going to check the diodes, I'm going to check the, the resistors, and uh, see if we can figure out why the optos to this are okay. This doesn't seem to be working. This to the uh, thing is, is. So there you have it. We're, we're narrowing stuff down, getting closer and closer and closer to getting this game working. And uh, that's where we're at right now. For more, visit pinballhelp.com. Thanks for watching.